Hello, everyone. My name is Jacques Eistock. I am the Vice President of Data at VMware Tanzu. Today, I'm joined uh, by Ivan Novik, who leads R&D for the Green Plum product here at VMware Tanzu, as well as Hamid Dijam, who is the analytics CTO for the unstructured data solutions over at Dell, as well as Chris Gully, who is from the office of the CTO here at VMware. And we're going to talk about a unique approach to a consolidated data lake for analytics in all in one solution for both data lake, data mart, data warehouse, data mining, and analytics in general. What we're seeing today is that data architects, data users are easily overwhelmed by all of the different things that are happening within the enterprise, whether it's the traditional database data that is being generated and iterated on, whether it's new data from IoT, from logs, from click streams, images, videos, voice, JSON, it's, it's, it's just a lot. And if you look at what the industry is doing to try and solve it, it is massively complex. This is just a snapshot of all of the projects, the companies, the products, that can be used to help these data uh, folks actually take advantage of their systems. But when you actually dig down deep in trying to integrate all of these solutions together, it can be super, super complex. And so, you know, Chris and Hamid and Ivan and I came together and thought, how could we make this simpler for our customers? So Chris, first and foremost, let me uh, send it over to you. Why don't you? Thank you, Jacques. So as that slide, as you saw, that was an eye chart, right? And then it can be a, a complicated process determining what solution you want to use, the vendors, how do you get support from all of them? So what we're doing is we're driving it under one umbrella. We're bringing together the different you know, functionalities and, and capabilities of Dell Technologies to bring an end-to-end -end solution to customers for data services and analytics. And it simplifies the model for the customer. It, it gives them a consistent way of you know, getting those support services you know, it also provides a, a better sort of lifespan of the product because we're, as a company, thinking about it holistically so that you don't have to, right? So it, it's really gonna, you know, in the end of the day, it minimizes the stress that the customer has to uh, adopt uh, as since the solution is all in one and end to end within Dell Technologies. And and I will mention that you know, that was a key that was a key tenant to what we why we started down this path, right? The simplification of this is really why we were you know, looking to not create some new uh, paradigm or new operational model that you had to go and train someone on. We're taking building blocks and ingredients. You know, so I use this slide as a opportunity because you know, in any good recipe, it's only as good as, there, as the ingredients you put in it. And, and, and also many times keeping it simple makes it easier and it makes it taste better if it's a cake, if you will. So the building blocks here, we started with the vSAN ready node the value within that is that these are already validated. They have the firmware and the things that you need. You don't have to chase, you know, spreadsheets to figure out, that, you know, that you're matching up all the different details so you can be successful with the vSAN. And you layer that on with uh, with Greenplum, the flexibility that it provides. Uh, you know, it's enterprise proven. It's been in, you know, production environments for over a decade. And then the top tier there is, you, you know, building together and bringing the data into the mix. What uh, what Isilon can provide from a, a you know, a data lake perspective. It's very resilient, highly performant. It can uh, scale to the, the appropriate size of the, you know, of the customer's data needs. Uh, and, and all of these together allow customers to take a solution or this solution, get it up and running quickly and allows them to organically grow over time in a very flexible manner. Is this where I say that uh, our customers get to have their cake and eat it too? I I'm think sure. it is. So, so, <laughs> so, Hamid, you know, l l let us learn a little bit about, you know, Isilon and how it plays into AI and deep learning. Sure, yeah. Um, so, from a uh, Isilon perspective, or 1FS even, I should say, right, the way we look at this is we want to look at IT as a whole. If we take a, um, if we go back to that slide that you showed with all of the landscape and all the different vendors and solutions and systems out there helping our customers deal with unstructured data and analytics as a whole, it's, it's, it's very um, uh, maddening, right? There's a lot of uh, solutions out there. And in many cases, IT infrastructures end up standing up 
uh, silos uh, to handle each and every one of those solutions from a software stack, from a hardware stack. And um, it's just, it's, it's, it, it turns uh, IT into this mishmash of silos, right? And what that does is it creates this um, replication of data and process in, in place um, that IT personnel have to maintain. And, and it's crazy, right? So what we propose is creating this centralized data lake, right? That allows you to eliminate silos, bring in all of the data in one place, right? And when you do that, you want to make sure that you, you, you capture the essence, which is you've got to make sure you tick some boxes before you create that data lake, right? Which is scalability, performance uh, features. And you want to have those in, in, in your data lake that it should allow you to grow, right? With the different kinds of applications as you're showing here, but at the same time, each one of these applications basically supports different APIs. So you want that, that flexibility to support all of your applications with your centralized data source, right? You wanna make sure you have enterprise features in place, right? You wanna make sure that you can back up, you can recover petabytes of data now, right? And all of your applications are dependent on it. And so once you do that, right, you can allow your applications to scale um, you can allow your storage to scale. You have a robust processes in place that govern the security of that data. And all you do as your requirements grow for applications and analytics tools is you just add them, right? Using that, that VMware fabric that we have that allows us to stand up infrastructure very, very quickly from a compute perspective it then allows you to have access to data just as quickly, right? So it's kind of like having this Nirvana thing that anytime you want to stand up a solution, you, you don't have to replicate things. You don't have to do months of engineering to put hardware together um, to build these analytical solutions, um, right? So that's, um, that's kind of what we think about um, or what we thought about when we put together um, the solution around um, the data lake. Yeah, and what I really love is, and another way of looking at it, is what you're showing me here is kind of taking all of the, the mess that I showed earlier and putting it into one common, you know, box, if you will, so that I don't have to think about anything else, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and, and, and I mean, think about it this way, right? So when we're talking about artificial intelligence or analytics as a whole, um, you know, when you have your data all in one place, it allows the data scientist to ask more questions of that data because it's cumulatively all of it is there, right? All your digital assets in one place enable you to do a ton more. Perfect. And, and actually, it's a, a great, you know, dovetail into me asking Ivan. So Ivan, you know, warehouses, marts, lakes, they all exist. But, you know, uh, tell, us, tell us why Green Plum and, and how it kind of fits together. Right, why Greenplum and why Greenplum plus 1FS and Isilon, right? Because what we're trying to do is give, in a simple solution, all of the, the core primary use cases you need from an analytics point of view in this one solution. So we just saw the lake, and from that lake, we can store data in open file formats. So people can use Avro, Parquet, or C JSON files. Those files are open to multiple tools. Those files could be queried via Greenplum, those files can be um, analyzed via Apache Spark. They can be, you can connect with data science tools that have data science GUIs and other third-party applications to access those files on the lake. We can also use that lake for, for, for the, the landing zone and the ETL process that would be part of a, the downstream here, which becomes the warehouse. So you take all of that enterprise data that's in the lake, and then the role of the warehouse is to take the structured data and consolidate that and then to do super high performance SQL and reporting on that. So the warehouse here will be built on Greenplum running on the ready nodes, and that's gonna be feeding data from the lake. And, and then that data can then as well, since this is all um, elastic infrastructure on, on, on VMs, that, that can, the warehouse itself can scale from starting at you know, small 50 terabytes up to multiple petabytes of structured data. And then using Greenplum to do millions of queries per day, like the normal Greenplum customers do, and having sub-second SLAs 
similar like you'd have with with a you know with any traditional database but operating on hundreds of terabytes of data um, now since this infrastructure is virtual there's also the concept of a mart so the mart is a smaller database that's more of a business purpose specific purpose it's not the whole enterprise warehouse but let's say the marketing department wants a data mart or the risk department wants a data mart or the fraud department wants a data mart so since we're on virtual infrastructure we can spin up another green plum instance on the same infrastructure and build marks there and have full resource isolation those marks then you can enable your business analysts to, to connect with tableau microstrategy your bi tools or directly with sql or run embedded java and python so really covering the spectrum in one platform here from dell yeah and and just worth saying right we've seen a lot of our customers try and fit all of these things into a lake unsuccessfully because of all the different projects and and different um, products that you would need to bring something like that together. Additionally, we also see customers using different products for just the warehouse or just the mart. The flexibility of leveraging one uh, ecosystem, the Green Plum, the open source Green Plum ecosystem, to standardize on marts and warehouses, you know, collectively with the lake, allows your organization to more easily operationalize and more easily standardize on a Postgres-based uh, DDL infrastructure, et cetera. Would yeah. you say that that's um, somewhat valuable? Yeah, I mean, to, to, to say it out loud, people are trying to reduce the total cost of ownership. And the total cost of ownership includes all of the, the people that, you're, that, that need to go and do the work to operationalize, to do, data, to do disaster recovery planning. When you have hundreds of different tools, each of them, you need to have a strategy of how it's gonna be patched, updated, maintained. And, and that sprawl is super expensive. So you want to kind of consolidate it down to less tools. So what kind of things do you hear from our customers? Right. So, so this is the kind of, you know, this stack really is opening up the art of the possible for organizations. You know, many organizations we talk to are, are doing, you know, business reporting, but they're looking to take it to the next level. They're looking, if they're a healthcare company, they're looking to see, you know, can we look at the unstructured data that's in the handwritten notes? If they're if they're a um, let's say a shipping or, or or logistics company, they're looking to see can we take sensors from the vehicles and start to do IoT based analysis, right? So we hear on this kind of a stack, people you know surprised that they can run millions of complex SQL with tight SLAs on this platform. They're they're enthusiastic that they can open up these open data file formats and use things like Apache Spark to do machine learning on it. Um, they, they're, they're really um, getting business value when they can create text data, geospatial data, and graph data and start to leverage that as part of their process. Um, they, you know, everybody's doing standard business intelligence, using now new data science tools to visualize the data. And we even have customers now telling us that, hey, with COVID-19, the, the power of this kind of a solution is enabling us to inform our enterprise on what we need to be doing and what's changing and, and what resources we need to allocate where because um, things are in much in so much flux. That is fantastic. So let me ask Chris, so what did we actually put together? Yeah, thanks, Jacques. So, you know, I'm a big fan of, you know, actually making it real, right? When you go down the path of designing something, you know, putting it in a lab, testing it, vetting it, understanding it, running some performance against it. And so what you see here is representation of that. On the left-hand side is the full architecture. It's bringing it all together, bringing best-in-class hardware from Dell, the vSAN ready nodes, you know, the Isilon components, best-in-class for storage, the switching. Uh, we did, you know, iterate this a couple of times. Um, so you'll see on the left-hand side, you know, initially we um, were only running two uh, two interfaces off of the servers, trying to kind of combine the traffic to understand the characteristics. We learned pretty quickly, and I think we knew this going in, that we were going to end up separating it because. You know the the, the I/O need for Greenplum is high, and we want to make sure we can isolate that and keep it uh, the integrity of it, um, you know, sound. And we're not competing for traffic on other networks, you know, sort of the noisy neighbor, if you will. So we separated the VMware services side, so vSAN and all those things can operate on their own interface. Um, and then Greenplum gets its own dedicated interfaces on the servers, and um, they are still going into a converged switch, uh, and they are separated by VLANs. But we found that, uh, you know, actually we, for this scenario on the test that we ran, it actually performed really well. Um, and I think, you know, um, for customers, it's a, it's a starting point for some that don't want to build a massive, you know, 
you know, huge environment initially just to get going, they want to be able to kind of trickle it in. So you can start with a four node configuration, still has a fair amount of capacity. And over time, it's very easy to just add another VCM ready node in and it auto provision itself and you just go. So the operational model um, is really sound for an enterprise uh, team. It allows them to continue their um, sort of operational excellence they've already developed around VMware and just keep going, right? And it allows them to focus on the business needs and not be focused on, you know, trying to learn a new solution or trying to cobble something together that becomes, you know, this new sort of, you know, special thing. Um, so um, that was the the out the output from our architecture. Well, and I, and I love the fact that, um, and we're, we're wrapping up here, coming on our 20 minutes here, but I love the fact that you're taking tried and true technology from VMware, tried and true technology from Dell, combining it not into a architecture, but an actual architecture that our customers can leverage. I, I think that, you know, between those products, between Greenplum, between the markets that we serve together, that we have a fantastic solution for our customers. And if you think so too, that reference architecture is available online today. And if you want any more help, please contact Dell or VMware and just say the one magic word, Greenplum, and we'll be there to help you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.